Assalamu alaikum everyone. This video will troubleshoot a sublime text issue when running input with Python. So the input function prompts a user to type in something in the console and we can type in anything. But after hitting enter, nothing happens and you're left stuck in the console. The next lines of code are not executed after input, where otherwise this print statement would have appeared at the end of our output. Sublime's console only displays output of your code. Inputs don't work here. This issue exists for other languages too, like Java or C++ when taking user input in Sublime Text. Before continuing the video, I wanted to give a big shout out to Brother Shoruv. He published code on GitHub for configuring Terminus in Sublime Text. This video was inspired from and gives credit to his solutions. And so, a big thanks to Brother Shoruv again. To fix the problem, we'll install a package in Sublime called Terminus, which basically connects our command shell to Sublime's console making our code run in the shell when using Sublime. Let's start off by installing package control. Go to the drop down tools menu and click on command palette or simply use control shift P on your windows for Mac that is command shift P then type install. Click on install package control. Wait a few seconds and there should be a pop up. This pop up tells us to type install package in the command palette. Doing that clicking on package control install package takes a second or two to load Sublime's packages. Next we type Terminus in the palette, click on it and we'll have Terminus installed. For the next step go to the tools drop down, under build system click on new build system. We'll add a code snippet in this file from a file I have here. Copy pasting it. You can find this code snippet in the github link in the description below. Alright, in this code we need to add in the path parameter the directory path for Python's executable. We can simply look up Python's directory with code I've set up here. Printing out the system library's executable shows Python's main location in the console. We only need the path before the .exe file. So copy paste this to our system build next to path semicolon. And let's save the file as Python terminus with the extension .sublime build. You can now close this file and our last steps will configure the command palette and key bindings of terminus. Go to the preferences drop down then packet settings under terminus click on command palette. A sublime commands file appears. We'll copy paste code on the right panel here and I've kept this code in the same file. So again you can find these code snippets via github links in the description below. After replacing the code here with the pasted code, save and close the file. Now let's configure the key bindings of Terminus. Going back to the preferences drop down, then packet settings. Under Terminus, click key bindings. We'll add code in the right panel of the file. So fetching our last code and pasting it at the end within these squared brackets. Save and close the file. Now just make sure to restart your sublime text. So let's close it and wait a few seconds. Alright, reopening sublime text. Before running the code, here's an important step we can't miss. Make sure to go to the tools drop down menu, then build system, where python terminus should appear in the drop down. This build file was what we set up a few minutes ago. So whenever you'd like to run python scripts with input, Select Python Terminus here as your build. Let's finally run our code to see if any issues appear with Python's input. Typing in a name and hitting enter. Awesome. So our Python script works now and we're not left stuck in the console. As you'll find our last line of code, the print statement was executed and our script ended there. The input problem has finally been solved. Phew, that was a bit hacky but alhamdulillah it worked. So I'll leave you guys to play with inputs for your scripts and I hope you have a good day. Take care and assalamu alaikum.